So once you get the butterfly done, just put it off to the side and we're gonna do the, the flower next. And then... So I'm starting to work on cleaning up the garage, but taking a break to uh, make that butterfly and flower uh, for my wife. This is um, gonna leave it rustic, um, the old stuff. Um, it's more horseshoe stuff, but this one's going to be a butterfly. You just need four and a nice big size bolt or a piece of rebar or whatever. Um, I got this bolt. Works out perfect. I'll never use it. And then I'm going to make a flower and then I'm going to attach it so that it's kind of got the flower down here and the butterfly almost going to land on the flower. So hopefully that'll be pretty nice. I asked her if she wanted it for the wall or in the ground and she wants it to poke in the ground so she's probably going to put it in the garden or something. So again, this would be a nice quick easy craft to do with your kids and get them involved you know they can maybe do the the the, the wire wheel or something give them the gloves and goggles and stuff get them out there um, if you, they're trying to teach them how to weld this would be it because it's just a you know these horseshoes weld pretty easy so get them out there um, early start now for mother's day in may and you can have it done seven for the flower and four for the butterfly. The one thing about these horseshoes is that it's really just tack welding. I mean, you get a little bit of space you know, on the back, you're going to want to do about a half an inch or an inch, and that'll keep it um, from ever coming apart. But that's why I like these projects, because they're pretty quick, pretty easy, but it's just something you can get out here and do real quick, um, and you know, it, it makes pretty neat art if you're into this kind of thing, and you know, these little yard things like this are really cool. So. So once you get the butterfly done, just put it off to the side and we're going to do the, the flower next and then we'll put it on a stick um, so that they'll all be up in the yard. And if you've watched my channel, I do actually like welding in shoes and pants better than my Crocs. Um, it almost never fails. I get a spark down in the Croc and I have to jump or something. Safety first, right? But you'll see me in my Crocs again, I'm sure. Okay, so there's the flower. All right, so you're gonna put this off to the side as well. And then we're gonna put it all together.
Okay, I think I should have used some heavier rod in order to put the uh, butterfly up here. What I had planned to do was kind of put something like this, but I used a, a uh, you see that basically, so I'm not gonna do that now. I'm just gonna go get another electric fence post and put this one on there and then just have them sit next to each other like that. Um, I should have used some of the rebar that I had for uh, like the, probably the half inch that I used for the Christmas tree. Um, and it wouldn't have been so flimsy and then it would have been more sturdy and I could have added that extra weight without it. But if I do this, it's gonna start to, you know, looking funny or whatever. So I've got several of these and they're only like 92 cents or something. So um, I'll just get another one of those and put the butterfly on him. I have a short one. I think I'll use it for the butterfly and then it'll be kind of like down here. going to do I'm going to put it in the vise after a while and just give it a little bend right there um, I'll probably ask my wife you know if she wants it at a 90 degree or how far down my wife really liked them she said they were super cute so she doesn't want them painted or anything she likes them just like they are and that's how they're gonna gonna stay I think she will eventually just you know I just put them out here to kind of show you but I think she's gonna put them in a flower bed in the front or something like that so uh, another project done. As always, we thank you for watching. Check back on Wednesdays, and we'll catch you in the next video.